transport in plants correct so we will talk about the transportation in plants how does transportation happen inside plant what do you think just take a quick guess what would be the factors or what would be the mechanism that's happening inside the plants which help all these transportation right inside the plant body take a guess plants themselves they do not move of course fine but movement inside the plants is absolutely essential or else let's imagine they require water what is present where in the soil how will the leaves which maybe uh, is at a distance of 10 meters and the taller tree is 30 meters right how will that water reach there at the topmost portion of the leaves and you know leaves they are the what kitchens for the plant correct they need water how will it reach there the food which is prepared in the leaves how will that food be transported to other parts of the plant where they are not able to prepare the food what will happen so basically it's logical and it's relatable that the transportation transport inside the plant body is essential absolutely essential correct okay then let me tell you this i'm sure you must have experienced this right a train to see well i would personally prefer a train which is quite empty and i can just sit beside the window enjoy the breeze or rather when it's running fast the wind yes the force of the wind i would enjoy that but at times you know we have to face situations like this but but think about the fact let's imagine we are at a place where there's it's very crowded you know i'm standing and there are too many people around me and it's i'm just getting uh, sandwiched between these people right what would be my tendency yes what would i try to do I would try to move away from that crowded place to a place where there's not many people, right? Logical. You will also do that, correct? You will try to move from a place which do not have does not have so many people around you. You will try to move to a like empty place. Logical. Okay. Fine. If that is logical, you know what? Similar things happen in case of molecules also. The molecules also prefer to move from a place where it's very crowded to a place which is less crowded. And I'm sure you know about this term, the concentration. Yes, the molecules try to move from a place where, where there's a higher concentration of those molecules to a place where, is, where there's lower concentration, right? So, difference in concentration of substances, concentration gradient. What's that? Let me explain you once more. See here what happens. So, there are many molecules at one place. Let me label it as position A and position B. Position A, position B after some time. So, the tendency of the molecules would be to move from a place where there is high concentration to a place where there will be lower concentration. So, it moves from high concentration to lower concentration, correct? And that's what has happened over here. Well, let me try to prove it through an experiment look at this experiment now experiment time well let me see if i can perform an experiment in front of you and try to show you that the molecules tend to move from a place where there is a higher concentration to a place where there is lower concentration of those molecules correct let's try it out well i'm always excited for the experiments you know i'm sure you are also excited uh, just set up my system so well i'll just set up the place so that you can visualize it properly yes so now no system just experiment you know what this is my own t-shirt i'm using it so that i don't ruin my system and it's a better platform for you to see experiments are all about what you have and how easily you can perform them right can you see this? I'm sure you can see this properly. Yes. Yes, I think you can see. Okay, great. I'll try out different ways so that you can properly see this. Correct? I have water. I'll pour, pour some more water over here. I just should not spill this. Otherwise, you know, the system will be damaged. 
well. So I have water. You know what? I have some ink pots. Yes. I have two colors, red and blue. Well, what we'll do is, we'll try to see if I drop an ink at a particular place, one drop, what happens to that, right? Okay, uh, I'll use a background so that it's clearly visible for you. Let's see if this can help you. Yes, let me try it first. Let me try with the red color. Okay, come on, come on. Very careful. Ready, all of you? Excited? Observe very closely, okay? It's going to be really interesting. Putting a drop, ready? Come on. Yes, see what's happening. See what's happening. Do you see how it's just moving from one place and spreading slowly to the places where the ink is actually not present? Yes. Amazing! And see the patterns, right? Wow! It looks so, so awesome. Yes, see, I just dropped it here, somewhere here. And there, from there, it has spread all around, correct? Did you see? Can we use a different color? Let's see if something new, different thing happens. I'll try to use a different color. Let's see what happens with blue. Of course, the same thing will happen, you know about it. But, I'm just excited to see the patterns, you know. Let's see. Try it out. Wow. It's amazing. See how it's spreading. It's really, really awesome. See, it's mixing. Yeah. And see it closely how this is moving from a place where there was a higher concentration of the ink to a place where there's a lower concentration of the ink. Correct? You see this? Fine, I'll just skip this away and let me just hold it in my hand and let me enjoy this. Wow, it's amazing. Trust me, it's amazing. If you can see it properly, it's just amazing. Fine, clear? So do you understand this concept where the molecules are traveling from a position, where, from a place where there's a higher concentration, okay, to a place where there is lower concentration of those molecules and you know what what is that called it's diffusion okay yes my system is ready and we can again move ahead with our presentation okay great so you got it right diffusion that's diffusion and can anyone of you tell you what do i mean by concentration gradient gradient it's simple. The difference of the concentration, okay? The difference, for example, I'll just try to show it once more. I'm not sure you can see it or not. So at this point of, at this place, right? What, what was there? The concentration was high, but if I compare here, the concentration was low. So this difference, this difference, you know, it's basically the concentration gradient. It's the gradient, the difference, great? Now, first, let me talk about simple diffusion let me talk about the simple diffusion okay let's see what happens you understood diffusion and now it's time to understand simple diffusion it's nothing but the random movement of molecules from higher to lower concentration random movement of molecules from higher to lower concentration you see whatever you're seeing on the screen it's what do you recognize do you recall the lipid bilayer phospholipid bilayer we studied in the cell chapter yes so phospholipid bilayer, okay, let me just label these as A, B, C, you know, A, B, C, these are time frames, okay, X and Y, so this is the X side, X side of the plasma membrane and Y side, just for our convenience, I'm just labeling it, naming it rather, okay, you see, at time A, towards X, the concentration of the red molecules is quite high, it's really high, on the other hand, Y, it's quite low, but time frame B, as time passes by, what happens? Slowly and steadily, the molecules start traveling inside. They start moving, right? They're crossing the membrane. Random movement of molecules from higher to lower concentration. Yes. And this, what I'm showing is basically what's happening in the living system across the membrane, cell membrane. Okay. And see, at time point C, a lot of molecules have crossed the membrane. Yeah. And you know what? All the molecules 
they always try to come to a equilibrium position where the concentration here x and y would be more or less the same correct so that's called equilibrium all molecules tend to attain a equilibrium state and you know this from your chemistry chapters correct okay now simple diffusion well very very important note this down short distance transport happens by a simple diffusion process passive transport no expenditure of energy okay so what do you mean by passive transport a transport process where energy is not required it is happening normally without the use of energy that's passive transport clear okay simple diffusion happens across short distances transport across uh, like small distances when it is required to be covered it can happen through simple diffusion movement of carbon dioxide and oxygen in plants it happens by the process of simple diffusion okay here atp the energy currency of the living cells okay atp is not required fine got it note down these points you know this is very important 